TitleMatchNetwork.com. Piper did a hair match with Adrian. Right, WrestleMania 3. And uh, I slid out to the ring and, and handed the, the scissors right. and stuff to Piper. And then he looked at me, and looked at Adrian, and then he wound up handing them back. He said, man, you go ahead. You know, right. And that's when I when I did the deal on him. And next thing you know, when I really didn't had much warning of this whole thing happening. And then they, I came back, and I'm in the dressing room, and they walk in, and they hand me this white, like doctor's coat or you know right. beautician gown or whatever you want to call it with a comb and a, right. and a and a pair of scissors and they go okay now you're the barber <laughs> and i go oh my god what what are you doing to me man <laughs> you know, the beefcake thing i'm on fire on this is hot the thing the dream team everything was going great right and they'd split the dream team up, and now the you know I got to start over from square one with. The, <laughs> and he did all his vignettes too. With the barber, but right. we, we did the vignettes, and and then it started catching on, you right. know. And it was sometimes it's it was a little tough at first to to just jump into this new character, you know, right? Because I really got getting entrenched into the beefcake gimmick, you right. know. So it was it was a little difficult at first trying to to jump jump right into this uh this barber thing but you know luckily it, it, it caught on and and i kind of got you know and i got rolling got into it and, and then it wound up just catching on fire right it did. the people went crazy and i came out with those scissors and those giant hedge clippers and i'd chase people around and right. i got somebody down and started cutting their hair those people went nuts and they went berserk did any of the guys uh not want to work it to you know get the haircut. Well, or that was the problem with Adrian. Adrian didn't want to work with me. I don't, there was some problem, underlying problems that went back to Dick Murdoch in, in the days when he was teamed up with him. And, and Adrian, I don't know. I had known Adrian for years and I always got along with him and been in Japan with him. Right. Never had any problem. And somebody had filled his head with some crazy stuff, and he, for some reason he had got this idea that he didn't like being here and I were. I really don't, to this day, I don't understand exactly what, what happened. Right. But the next thing you know, uh, we did the big angle and I was supposed to work with him. And then he, he went into Vince and said, I don't want to work with beefcake. Hmm. And, uh, and then next thing you know, he was quitting. I mean, they said, Hey, you know, we just, we just did this whole thing. And I mean, right. you're working with beefcake, you know, it's, it's the program. Right. And, uh, he quit. He just walked out, you know, and just through, you know, and at that time, I mean, that was a hell of a, he was going to, it was a hell of a break, a hell of a push. We we're, you know, we we're going to get really, you know, right under main event status at this time. Right. You know, we were right there. And uh, to walk away from all that, you know, nobody understood. Nobody really understood what was going on with him. Right. I mean, he just went off and was working independent. So I guess he was working in AWA. Calgary. Yeah, yeah, I also went to AWA too. Working up in uh, Stampede Wrestling or, right. or for some other outfits up there. And uh, you know, and just 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 dropped out of sight, basically, and then got killed. Car accident. Yeah. Right. Um, TitleMatchNetwork.com.